It is now 10.20 p.m., that means evening, nighttime, in January of 2015, and I'm able to see quite well in this light because the snow is reflecting so much light from uh, uh, the houses and buildings around here. I recharged the batteries after I got back from my earlier walk so I could shoot some nighttime films. This is one of the few times I've tried to do this. Let's see if I can zoom in on that tree a little bit. I'm not sure how this is showing up on the camera, but it's not looking so good in my viewfinder here. And these are the stairs I go up and down. Got my gloves on. I'm holding on the handrail because these stairs are slippery. A little bit of snow that melted during the day has refrozen. And now there's ice on the stairwell. On the streets, it's going to be slippery. My boots on, but I know from experience my feet can slip out from under me if I'm not careful. So I do have to watch where I'm walking. And that may affect the quality of this video a little bit. I will admit, during the summer, I'm not going to have anywhere near this much light at night. Unless there's a full moon. I have no idea <laughs> what kind of moon there is on the other side of these clouds. Got an eerie kind of beauty, you know, it's strange. Let's see if I can zoom in on these trees. Hmm. This looks as weird on your computer is just looking on this LCD screen. It's gonna be kind of an odd, eerie looking picture. Look at the tree. That's what I'm saying. During the daytime I got a lot of pictures, but uh not really sure how this is coming out on this camera here. I'm using a digital video camera. Shooting nighttime pictures, so I wasn't sure if they'd even show up on the other camera. Tomorrow is supposed to be more of the same. Frozen satellite dish. I have no idea what kind of reception they're getting. There's snow on the dish, and my guess is not as good as they would like. People on the other side of this fence have RVs and campers and stuff. But I don't know if they ever take them out. I don't remember seeing them anywhere other than this parking lot. But maybe they are moving them around. Whoever owns that scooter keeps it covered when he's not using it. Black guy, if I remember right. If I had a pickup truck like that, I'd keep the bed covered too. Another scooter or a motorcycle. I guess if I financed me on a scooter, I would be riding it when the streets are not, I repeat, not covered with ice and snow. These clouds here are reflecting a lot of the city lights. Now, earlier today, I filmed a bunch of buses coming out of here, and I have no idea why they are part of some early college program, but they are. Yeah, I never got to ride a yellow bus to school, college that is. Some schools provide their own shuttle buses, but apparently this school has something different going on. I guess for high school kids, you get into college early, dual enrollment. They were doing that when I was in high school, but I never considered taking part of that. Mainly because I planned to join the military and did. Heading north on Chestnut. Pretty much the same walk I got earlier in better lighting. Hmm. This place closes early due to weather or slow business, which can be affected by the weather. They had some, they still had some lights up, but it was much prettier, you know, around Christmas, December, when the lights up. I wanted to film this earlier, but decided to recharge the camera before I tried. 
Let's zoom in a little. Let's get this tree. I have no idea how it's going to come out. Again, I'm not sure how well those trees are going to show up. Got a lot of stuff on this viewfinder that you're not going to see. Kind of gets in the way of what I'm looking at. Again, there's Fountain Creek and those trees that I photographed earlier. I can see them even though I'm not showing up on this lens, this camera. Kind of taking a walk in the cold. So I wanted to get city lights or colored light reflecting in the snow. It's not quite working out as planned. I'm not sure how late I'm going to stay out. In other words, this might be a short walk. Some people don't like long videos, but I think I've got enough of a charge in this camera to record for at least 15 minutes, and the cold will drain the batteries. Yeah, I've walked by that liquor store many times, but because I don't drink alcohol, I have yet to go in there. I'm sure there's other things I could buy. I don't smoke cigarettes, don't drink alcohol, don't chew tobacco, and don't want to do any of the above. I mean, every now and then, I may want, you know, a little wine or something. That's like two, three times a year, if that. Sometimes I'll just try something. I had a period of my late teens, early 20s, you know, first joined the army when I wanted to try different types of alcohol. I had some so-called friends who would not respect my choices and badgered me in the drinking. He said, why don't you join a normal church, a normal religion? I'm going to put that out, I guess. I'm trying to clear off this lens. It just seems to be getting a little bit of fog on it. I'm going to walk this way, which is east. I'm not getting the light reflecting the snow that I wanted. So I may not stay out much longer. The snow I'm walking on has been packed down by traffic. And it's pretty much ice. I can hear a little bit of crunching under my feet. Now this snow here, you hear that? It's still kind of soft. But it's got a little bit of crunch to it. And this here has been packed down, frozen over, so it's almost ice. I'm walking pretty flat footed to make sure I don't slip and fall. If I do, I've got a little bit of padding, but more for warmth than cushion in a fall. A couple walking back towards that college. I'm going to show up here, that's an Arby's. Gas station, or the Arby's. It's hoping to get that reflected in the snow, but I don't see it happening. I'm also sure I want to stay here, kind of. Okay, gotta wait for this car to pass me before I try to cross the street. I didn't want it, man, to be an out late at night. Very little traffic on this road after 10 p.m. I will admit I've been on snow before. I've seen nights like this in Indiana. I think the cold is affecting those camera lens. It's not wanting to zoom in and out as easily as it does in warm weather. And these gloves on my hands probably aren't helping things any.
I'm not sure exactly how cold it is right now at 10.30 p.m. But I can tell you it's not warm. Feels like it's hitting close to zero. Colder than it was the last time I was out taking pictures. Now I can see that the cold has a tendency to drain batteries. So, uh, I was hoping those lights would be on. They close. Well, good hurries. I think we'll walk as far as the village in and then head on back because it's a little colder than I expected and although I have a few layers of clothing on I wasn't really prepared for this I think this picture is going to come out a little spotted I think I've got something on the lens it's not the first time I've had something on the lens pictures don't come out as clear as I would like This really is kind of eerie. I kind of like it though. It's weird in a way. I'm looking around so I can back up and get maybe get this. I'm going to zoom in on this. And again, I don't know how well this is going to come out. These aren't going to be high resolution pictures with this camera, but that's okay. not looking to win a photography contest so much as just document what I'm seeing. Uh, I may have to add out those license plate numbers before I publish this, but uh, we'll see. Oh, well, really, yeah, close early too. And nobody wants to be out in the snow. Well, Take a couple more pictures and then I'm heading back. I think that's it for this video. It is colder out here than I realized. Just wondering how well these pictures would come out with a still camera. Kind of wish I'd brought it with me, but I have trouble working the pictures. You know, snapping pictures with gloves on. I know it's too cold to take my gloves off for more than a few seconds. In fact, my hands are getting cold even with the gloves on. thought these gloves would keep me warm in Antarctica. I'm getting to wonder about that. I guess there's a limit to how cold I can get. Even with layers and layers of clothing. Wow, I want to get this again. Look at that. Zoom out. That's about tight as it's going to go. These are weird looking trees. And I'll call drains batteries, but I tend to come back out here after I warm up a little bit with the other camera and see if I can get pictures of these trees. They come out. Because seriously, this is kind of a weird kind of beauty. Make sure the other lunch is really clean and dry for a head out. I have a feeling these pictures are going to come out spotted. If what I'm seeing on this viewfinder is what shows up in the pictures. Still. It's, like I said, an odd, eerie, very cold kind of beauty. One thing I like though, because it is cold and late at night, there are very few people out. I'm not picking up wind noise or, um, much road noise. There just aren't that many people around. The only few of those fools that want to be out in this kind of cold. One of my longer videos. I'm going to see if I another picture of this tree here. I'm not sure how this is going to come out. Like I said, this cold is affecting the camera as well as me. more fountain, oh I'm sorry, actually this is North Douglas Creek, which is part of the Fountain Creek watershed. 
Well, actually, I missed the label of some of the pictures earlier, but that's okay. Colorado Technology University. I doubt I'll ever attend this place, but maybe I can get to hire a major part time instructor. Doubtful, but you never know. I know a lot of stuff. It just. The lack of recent job experience is making it hard for me to get an interview, let alone an offer. I have no idea how this is going to look on this camera here. That going to go in, warm up for a few minutes, grab the other camera, and see if I can work them on the lens. Make sure the lens is clean and dry before I head outside. Otherwise, those pictures are going to end up being spotted too. During warm weather, I've seen people in this parking lot at night doing donuts. Never cop around when you want one or need one. Just look at these trees. Almost feel like I'm in Siberia, as cold as it is. And yet, though I'm a little uncomfortable physically, I'm enjoying this scenery. You don't get, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Florida gets cold at night, and it might get down in the 20s or even the teens during the coldest part of winter. But you're not gonna get this kind of snow buildup. Trees and everything frosted over like this in Florida. I've seen it in Indiana, but even there, it wasn't quite like this close. Well, not quite. Well, this is a complex I live in, so I'm gonna shut this thing off and, and let the camera and me both defrost before I come out with the other one. That's it for now.